These are the faces of the families and children who have experienced homelessness in New Hampshire. And here in Greenland, this may look like an ordinary home, but these simply furnished rooms fill the people who seek shelter with hope. They are families. They are people who want to get up every day and choose their families and choose to go to work and choose to come home and do homework with their children and live a good life. Patty Frew Waters is the executive director of Seacoast Family Promise, a nonprofit that offers families housing, education, and a pathway to a solid life. The reasons why people end up here are all different, but they all share one thing in common. No one wants to end up homeless. Melissa was trying to keep her kids safe from an abusive husband. It was two years ago this past February. Um, my husband attacked me brutally in front of my two sons. Um, A restraining order was placed on him and the landlord pretty much evicted me the next day. I packed up all my kids' clothes and their toys and left three days later. Within three weeks, Melissa ran out of money and found herself and her two young boys living in their car. How do kids charge their Chromebooks for school? You know, how do you keep warm? when you don't have money to put in your gas tank. We just blended in, you know, where the people down at Prescott Park, where the people on the beaches, where the people in the stores. Our kids go to school with your kids. We'd been in Portsmouth long enough where the town finally put us up in a hotel and then um, found space for us at Seacoast Family Promise in Exeter, and that was the game changer right there. Thousands of New Hampshire children do not know where they will sleep tonight when they get out of school today. Thousands. <laughs> yeah, we can hug. To her clients, she is known as Miss Patty. When she came to Seacoast Family Promise nearly 18 years ago, she had a small office in a church basement at the Stratum Community Church. In 2015, Seacoast Family purchased this building in Exeter. It serves as the day center where people can meet with caseworkers and get the tools they need to get a job, counseling, and learn how to budget. Seacoast Family then bought the house next door and created two affordable housing units. When COVID hit, they were able to buy this building in Greenland. They call it the Joshua House. Our capacity is either five families or 14 individuals. The need keeps growing, so Seacoast Family Promise is planning to build a much needed 4,000 square foot addition to the Joshua House. Sarah Cotillia and her daughter Riley lived at Joshua House for five months. They came here after she lost her job and eventually their apartment during COVID. We were living on the street. Like we were living out of my car, out of my office, where basically wherever we could find a place to sleep. We were one paycheck away from losing everything because everything was so expensive. I didn't have the ability to save money. Being homeless during COVID's remote learning was a challenge for Riley in high school. It was just very confusing for me, but I didn't really think about it much because I was mostly um, struggling with school. Lisa Corsetti is a single mom with two young children. Struggling to find affordable housing, Lisa and her kids spent five months at Joshua House. I always worked, um, so the issue was just never having a home with me. Um, I tried with apartments and the rents would just go up and up. The lack of affordable housing is a source of Patty's frustration. If we would develop workforce housing, and it can be done, we would be able to eradicate pretty much family homelessness. Jess Beaudry and her husband acknowledged they made poor financial choices, which led them to live in a camper with their kids. We weren't stable. You know, we weren't stable, responsible adults. And where are you now? Stable, responsible adults. What we're going to do is add this. And with that addition, 
We will have a huge kitchen that where everybody can sit. We don't have that right now. The expansion of the Joshua House will cost at least $1 million. It will mean more room, more help for families in need. And as Patty says, when families thrive, so does the community. So this wonderful addition is going to make all the difference in the world. And we will be able to help folks, educate folks, help them find their way, help them find their joy, help them find their focus, help them find employment and affordable housing, because that's the deal. For people like Melissa, Seacoast Family Promise lives up to its word. There is a promise of a new life, a new start. Melissa is a licensed nursing assistant and is making plans for her future. She wants to become a hospice nurse. If you are homeless and you do happen to see this on TV while you're in a diner or at a gas station, don't give up hope because we're trying to change the message. We're trying to change the stigma and that you're loved and you're cared about. You're not alone because many of us have been there too.